What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys yet again with another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the costs of the ATM business. Now, if you guys are interested in getting into a business that allows you to earn passive income month after month after month after month, then you should definitely stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly what it costs in the breakdown for you to get into the ATM business. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are brand new here, my name is Austin Lewis, a serial entrepreneur from Scottsdale, Arizona, sunny Scottsdale, and 25 years old, as they call me the ATM King. Ladies and gentlemen, before we jump into this video though, what I want you guys to do is do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button on this YouTube video simply because it supposedly helps the YouTube algorithm. I'm not sure. I'm waiting to find out. So make sure and do that for me. And if you guys are brand new here, make sure and come subscribe. Uh, all new welcome subscribers, drop in the comment section below if you guys are brand new. This community will welcome you to this channel. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your guys' love and support and really most motivating me to continue to make videos for you guys and ultimately help you guys on a daily basis in a step-by-step -step process through your guys' business ventures and your guys' mindset and your guys' life. So we're going to dive right into this video, ladies and gentlemen. And first thing is uh, startup costs, I think is a very generic term. A lot of uh, gurus on the ATM business, when they do post YouTube videos as of myself, they actually don't break down an actual cost for how much it actually takes to get into to the ATM business. Now, obviously you guys have seen on my channel, I've talked about an ATM machine being right around $2,500, but that did not include what it takes to open up a bank account, that did not include, include an LLC, that did not include install, that did not include a loader, that did not include all the materials it is that you need, that did not include all these, you know, little knickknacks that it's almost like gotchas when you get into the ATM business. And that's exactly what I wanna share with you guys here today. So jumping right into it, the first thing that we have to take a look at as an expense is going to be our LLC. You guys can file an LLC. I know some LLCs start at $65 and I, I know some LLCs go up to $1,500. It really just depends on your guys' location. It depends on what state that you guys want. Obviously, if you guys are in the state of California, your guys' LLCs are gonna be a whole heck of a lot more expensive than somebody's in Florida's or in Las Vegas or in Arizona because you guys are the state of California. Now, so again, that LLC can range anywhere from 60 to $1,500, ladies and gentlemen. And then that is going to be step number one to get into the ATM business. I highly recommend you guys get yourself form an LLC. The second thing we're going to talk about is actually the ATM costs. So an ATM costs $2,495 shipped, programmed, not installed. So right off the bat, you're looking at anywhere from $2,500 all the way up to $3,500 because if some of you guys are in states that are $1,000 for an LLC, then obviously now you're at $3,500 to get started in the ATM business. Now, not only do you have to just purchase an ATM, but there's what we call an ethernet cable or a modem. This modem runs anywhere from $250 to $450, depending on the modem that you guys get. So again, to break it down for you, th these are just a couple of items. These are three items that you need in order to get started in the ATM business and for you to actually have a crucial running ATM. Now, obviously you can go without a modem box and save your $300 or $400 and hire a handyman, a local handyman to actually go out there and run an ethernet cable to your ATM so that your ATM uses the business's internet rather than using your own internet. That again is gonna run you anywhere from 150 to 250. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're talking about here is LLC, ATM, and modem so far. We're at anywhere from three to $4,000 with one ATM machine, ladies and gentlemen. Now, jumping more into it, that does not include ATM install. So I don't know about you guys, but I personally never wanna do ATM installs. 
I highly recommend other people do that. That way, if anything happens to the ATM, if you drop it or anything like that, you are with using, using a company or somebody that is licensed, bonded, and insured. Therefore, you don't have to worry about if they drop the ATM, they're going to be covering it versus if you were to go drop the ATM and break some parts, then guess who's liable for that? Well, you are, ladies and gentlemen. And so doing a licensed, bonded, and insured installation, depending on the, the handyman service that you guys find, is anywhere from $150 to $300, depending on location. Now, again, a lot of you guys are like, Dawson, what would dictate a $150 bill versus a $300 bill? Well, use your guys' imagination. When I have somebody coming an hour and a half away from me, they're gonna charge me $300. When I have somebody going right down the road on 6th Street, they're gonna charge me $150. So the bare minimum is a minimum of 150 bucks and up to $300. So now we're talking LLC, we're talking a $2,500 ATM, we're talking a $300 Wi-Fi box, and now, we're talking installation. So now all of those things are right around four to $5,000 depending on your guys' state LLC and so forth. Now, obviously you guys can do the math. It can get cheaper than four to $5,000, but roughly for one ATM machine is typically what that costs. Now, one thing I want you guys to keep in mind in terms of what it's actually going to take to get into the business is if you are going to load the machine, then you're gonna be required to have more funds. If you're just gonna own the machine and you know somebody else is gonna load the machine, then chances are you are gonna not need any more funds. But if you are going to load a machine, then you certainly as heck are gonna load it with a minimum of $2,000, unless you're wanting to go back to that particular ATM almost every single day. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm sharing with you just in this video is kind of the basics. It's kind of the bottom line, the getting starter, the starter notebook for beginners in the ATM business. When you get into a little bit more developed, you start uh, purchasing routes, you start buying contracts, you start buying out out people, you start buying locations, you start start buying business owners' portfolios and so forth, so forth, because at the end of the day, things can get a lot more expensive in this business. I like to say it's a whole heck of a lot like golf because I think golf is an expensive sport, but again, so is the ATM business. And you can either treat it like a hobby or you can treat it like a business. Just remember that a hobby costs money and a business makes you money, ladies and gentlemen. And so again, if you guys are interested in me going more in depth on what are some things, what are some actual costs, what are things that you know might come up or, or might might be you know be something that you can get a little bit more in depth with when purchasing deals and so forth, then make sure and drop in the comment section below. But if you guys were just coming here to this video to watch this and just see the generic startup costs, I would I would honestly if you don't have anywhere from three to five thousand dollars to get started in the ATM business, then I would start slinging contracts. I would do other things in order to actually make enough money to get into the ATM business because just buying an ATM machine isn't essentially going to change your life. Again, yeah, you can make 200 bucks a month, 300, 400, 500, 700, 900, 1,000, 1,500 dollars a month uh, with one ATM machine. But again, at the end of the day, I want you guys to be more prepared just in case that you actually do have have those so-called expenses that is uh, regular for each and every single one of us business owners. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have got value from this video, make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this video. Make sure and drop in the comment section below if you guys have any questions. Again, I always push this. Feel free to reach out to me on my email. My business email is actually going to be in the link in the description below or reach out to me on Instagram. I absolutely love your guys' support. And guys, thank you so much for smashing the thumbs up button on this video because again, it helps the YouTube algorithm. If you guys are brand new here, make sure and check out some of my other videos that I have on my channel. I teach people how to make money from home. I teach people how to get into the ATM business. I talk about mindset. I talk about finances. I talk about all the stuff that it is a guru that you need. And I would love to be that guru, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Lewis, you're saying thank you guys so much for subscribing and we'll see you guys in a future YouTube video.